was a historical moment. I mean, we, we've been fighting for this to support the, you know, the American people here on the home soil for quite a few years. We've broke a paradigm. We've changed the way we do business entirely with this operation. So we just got on, put our sensor on the ground, got with the fire captain there and said, hey, what do you need? And then we just uh, started uh, pushing out our full motion video to the people on the ground so we could show them exactly what is uh, going on around them. It was magical. Uh, as soon as that camera hit the ground, I don't think you could have gotten that smile off my face in any way, and it's been there ever since. You're never going to be able to substitute the hard work of the men and women on the ground. They would usually get products only maybe once a day to kind of see where the fire is. The wind gets on it and it does things that we can't predict or we can't see because we don't have good visual of the fire. We can give them full time our 24 hour full motion video so we know when the hot spots uh, fire up and so then they can put fire crews on that to stop the fire and to knock it down. They're swinging the tools, they're pulling the hose, they're digging up the line, the bulldozer are pushing dirt. They are making it happen. Definitely want to thank uh, General Baldwin, General Ball, and everybody up at the state headquarters who actually put this together. I showed up to the Air Force Base, exhausted, uh, very little sleep for the four days prior to my arrival, and it was like walking into a home. I'd like to say to the Grizzlies, uh, thank you for your professionalism and your support on this. I know a lot of people have already worked a lot of hard hours. It's showing once again on all the support that we've provided, not only to us on the military side, but definitely to the, the fire crews and the, and the firefighters down on the ground. Allowing the predator into our world now, encouraging it into our world, we now can get real-time information, and now we can set the pace. We dictate where the fire goes, not the other way around. I'm tremendously proud of this wing and all the airmen in it that have helped make this happen. This is um, fundamentally changing the way that we're going to support emergency response officials during a disaster. Keep it up, and there's more to come.